Today was by far one of the busiest days in the market. It might end up with me hitting a home run or me being stopped out for the biggest loss since I started live trading. So stay tuned to see what's happening. Hi there and welcome back to Daily Forex Market Analysis. It's Monday the 4th of March and it's around 3 in the morning GMT time zone, okay? And here I am doing my pre-market analysis of my six pairs where I'm trading the harmonic patterns, okay? So the new things that you can see here is the tool that I use is harmonic pattern uh, trade manager. I got my developers develop this for me just to make my life easier and just you know so if I in, currently it's just recognizing the pattern so this is a bad pattern and uh, what it will do is when, when the price action comes to the entry it will take both of my entries and then trail my stops if, if it goes to target one or uh, trail my targets if, if the price action goes against me but more on that later I will definitely announce it and I will definitely give access to people as well uh, but with that being said, let's go straight to the analysis and let's see what can we trade here. We need, this is bad, the price action needs to go overboard or sold for us to take it. If it does, I'm going to get, get engaged in, in, this, in this pattern, okay? With that being said, that's it for, this, for me. For this pair, then move to Aussie, Aussie Cat. There might be a cipher here. But as we are not trading ciphers, not on this pair because we did not test it yet. No, there is nothing. Okay, I don't see anything else worthwhile here for me. And uh, yeah, so let's just move straight forward. I don't see any patterns that I can trade. Euro dollar. Okay, things have changed and there might be something for us today. This, this might be it. Cipher. Yeah, almost, almost bad pattern. Let's see what will this give, what will FIBS give us. Should be the same, but sometimes I'm verifying it. If you just, if you just check, check out the candle, did it touch this? High 3814 and the 50 is 3815. So yeah, it did not touch the 50 level so far. We don't have any patterns for this impulse lag, so we gotta wait. Okay, nothing here. Aussie USD. Uh, this is something that I'm playing a game with a good friend of mine, a latch. I'm saying because of this pattern here that the price action will come up and hit targets one. Actually, I'm saying that the price action should come up. I mean, should. You never know what's gonna do, but it might come up to this level here. Okay. And, uh, if it does, I'm going to win a point. If it does not, I'm not going to win a point. That's it. Okay, so besides this, as I'm not allowed to trade bats anyway, and i just allowed to uh, tr trade guardless, I'd, maybe this might be something. Let's, so let's, let's check this out. Okay, so if it comes to target one, I'm going to take this guardly action. Okay, because of the bigger bath, if it comes to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Sorry. Oh, it was good. 72, 8. Yeah. So if it comes, I'm going to take this. Yeah. Hopefully, it will come to targets 1. Hopefully, it will come to targets 1. Engage me in my bad pattern and in my garfly pattern and then reverse back and hits both of my targets. We will see. So f no filters for me on Aussie USD Garflies. I can just take them and hopefully it will win. Pound dollar. Last week we got a trade uh, on this pair. The trade was this. This was the trade. Uh, nah. Yeah. Uh, it did hit targets one, almost stopped us out, but this week I don't see anything else here. So I'm just going to wait probably. Oh, there might be something. If you look at this as the X point, 
yeah, you need some kind of movement here and then we'll see X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. And then we will see from there if that's, that kind of stuff happens, I will be engaging. If not, maybe, maybe this might be something to take, take a look at, but we are far, far away from it. And it's not even a bat, might be Cypher. So no, nothing. Pound Yen, I already marked this up yesterday and uh, so far, nothing of this pair but we might have a bad pattern prior to the cipher or oh, this will be a garfly okay so this will be a garfly pattern that i might get engaged with okay because i can trade garfly par patterns but i uh and it should not the price action should not go overbought and oversold for me to take action on the garfly pattern okay i can yeah, guys, so that's it. That's it for our Monday morning pre-market analysis. It took us like five minutes or so. And with that being said, see you soon in the afternoon session. Bye-bye. Hi, and welcome back to the afternoon session. It was very, very, very busy and weird kind of day. So first of all, we are here on USD CAD and what's happening, why I'm not into in this trade. So because I made my first live trading mistake, there is one thing that I did not check prior to entering this trade. I was in this trade uh, almost a little bit, a little bit late, as you can see. And then I clicked sell live three times accidentally and enter three times just to check out when I set up my stop loss, my uh, targets and everything just to see that my X to A leg has more than 100 candles, which means that I cannot take it. That's one of my rules. And I'm you now I then I cannot break my rules, which accidentally I did today because I was in a hurry. And uh, then I canceled and closed all three of my trades, as you can see here right there um uh, no no history you can see that i took three usd cats uh sell uh trades sell and lost i don't know 40 cents but anyway that was the first mistake i'm kind of pissed on, on myself but luckily i got out uh without you know losing bank with that being said let's move forward there was nothing here for me today on aussie cad on aussie usd there was something but we did not get engaged because we took everything by by the rules the price action came two pips from away from my pending orders and hit targets one so i closed my orders nothing here besides that i was waiting for a, a bigger bigger pattern here let me let me actually br bring this one up so i was actually waiting for this pattern right there but after this is after my time trade uh, time period that I'm allowed to trade, so I won't I won't be engaging into this one anymore. So I'm gonna close this one. So here we are on Euro Dollar, and here we got engaged into big ass Garfly pattern. Uh, it, it is somehow ugly, but by the rules I have to take it. So this is the pattern right there. Price action got triggered us around what time? Around eight in the morning, and then rallied a little bit down just to rally back up and then rally back down again to come to test the X point of Gartley and get a huge rejection. So I'm expecting and hoping that the price action will, be, will reject right now and hit my target to one. And then that point I will trail my stop loss to break even and hopefully it will hit targets too. It did rally against us for, I don't know, a lot of pips right now currently. 17 pips 16 17 pips down in both of positions but we are still staying in the trade and just sticking to my rules a pound dollar nothing here for me today no action i didn't get any trades or anything and a pound yen just about when i was about to wrap up my day the last candle uh, uh in the day activated me into a trade and now we are in in a bad pattern i think it's a bad pattern let's see is it ghostly or bad uh, yeah, so it's it's a Gartley pattern here. I can trade it without any additional filters, and the time period that I can trade is just about until five until five p.m. GMT time. So which is absolutely fine with me. So now I'm waiting, and I'm being I'm sitting in two trades, waiting to see what's gonna happen with them. 
and that's it I'm kind of pissed on myself because I made my first live mistake but that stuff happens we just gotta get over it learn from it and move on and I just gotta hold to these two positions and see what's gonna happen with them we might go into a drawdown we might break even or we might go up to three percent profits overall on my trading live account or maybe one and a half or two whatever it happens I'm not gonna count my money before it actually happens with that being said see you tomorrow thank you for staying until the end of this video click that like button also make sure to subscribe if you didn't already leave a comment if you have any questions whatsoever and hope to see you tomorrow morning bye bye